let me tell you the doping story of London 2012 Summer Olympic Games. Did you notice that some swimmers wear earphones and are listening to music seconds before every Olympic start at Aquatic Center, be it semi-finals or finals? Scientific evidence testifies, listening to music improves blood oxygen capacity and is a performance enhancement. There could be several mechanisms, says Stefan Kolsch of Max Planck Institute for the Human Cognitive and Brain Sciences, in Leipzig, Germany. Kolsch has published many scholar articles on the subject of how the body reacts to music. Dr. Kolsch says that music can have influences on the breathing rate, which will alter oxygen levels in the blood. It can happen via emotional effects such as an increased arousal. Second mechanism is a relaxing effect. It means fewer muscles consume oxygen, which also increases oxygen levels. In line with Kolsch's conclusion are the data of the research article by Luciano Bernardi Group of the University of Pavia, Italy. Bernardi Group research implies that the withdrawal of music shortly before the swim race induces relaxing effects noted by Kolsch. It is quite clear that music can reduce the effort associated with a given physical load, say Laszlo Harmat and Tors Theorel of Karolinska Institute, home of the Nobel Prize in Medicine in Stockholm, Sweden. The reason for this is probably that the body has a better ability to coordinate muscles and economize the use of energy. It is even likely that this is in some way programmed, Swedish scientists add. Notably, is the testimony by Bob Bowman, a coach of Michael Phelps, who uses headphone at the pool deck during every Olympic swimming start. Bowman says that Michael Phelps has all of this in his database, so, when he swims the race, He's already programmed his nervous system. Another evidence comes from the research done with human infants. It showed that music causes better saturation of hemoglobin with oxygen compared with control subjects receiving no music. This indicates an enhancement of oxygen transfer. Moreover, increased by music oxygen saturation returns to the baseline faster compared with control, making music effect hard to detect shortly thereafter. Commenting on this study, Dr. Alexander Cherniak, a researcher at the Moscow Pulmonology Institute agrees that medical experimentation with infants allows good standardization of the research protocol, appropriate statistics and could be projected onto the adults. So, can one call listening to music shortly before entering the swimming pool for competition a performance enhancement? Yes, say both Kolsch and Cherniak. It is in line with this. Add Harmat and Theorel. If so, how long could this enhancement last? Duration of the effect is not certain, from seconds to minutes, adds Kolsch. London 2012, Beijing 2008 and Athens 2004 Olympic and World Records, by swimming medal holders fall into the experts' projected time frame. Yes, testifies Dr. Vance Bergerana from Lyon, France, music next to the swimming pool. Less than two minutes before the start could indicate performance enhancement because of transient increase of blood oxygen capacity. Bergeron adds that such a performance enhancement is a biochemical feedback mechanism from an external source. The external source in the present case, music, is available to everyone, not harmful to the athlete or his peers, and carried out under full disclosure, hence I do not see how this conflicts with fair play and honesty. Dr. Bergeron adds that I am not an expert on the World Anti-Doping Agency, however. Well, one doesn't have to be an expert on WADA policies, as the scientific evidence provided in this report enforces all to take WADA code as is. The prohibited list 2012 of the World Anti-Doping Code reads. Prohibited Methods Article M1 Enhancement of Oxygen Transfer The following are prohibited. Item 2. Artificially enhancing the uptake, transport or delivery of oxygen, including, but not limited to, perfluorochemicals, ifaproxyl RSR13 and modified hemoglobin products. Examples are hemoglobin-based blood substitutes, microencapsulated hemoglobin products, excluding supplemental oxygen. Straightforward ruling results in a straightforward conclusion by a number of independent scientists. Listening to music through earphones, before the start is in line with other measures prohibited.
Therefore, London 2012 Swimming Olympic medals by the Pool Deck music listeners are faked and should go to others, who battle for it fairly.